Um, let's sweet. take a moment for Mike's outfit. Oh. Uh, Fire. Appreciate it, yep. Handsome we man. The, uh, <laughs> the E30 drifting on the t-shirt, E30 race car. Uh, but, all right, Daisy, guys. sit. Sit. Daisy. Daisy, say hi to the camera. Say hi to the fans. Ah! Don't scratch the car, Daisy. I've got my kombucha. It's a beautiful Sunday. We're gonna take the 335 out to a car show. Daisy really wants to go to the car show, as you can tell. But <laughs> my older brother, I turned him into a car enthusiast. He just bought his dream car. So we're gonna go check out his dream car as well. And I'm gonna show you guys what it is. It's pretty cool. So I think you guys will Look like it. Look at this dog right now. Daisy, yep. are you so excited? Well, let's head out because we are running late. It is like... 95 degrees out right now. Daisy this is dying. Torture. I'm sweating. Mike is sweating. It is torture. It's gonna be a good slush Sunday though. Daisy's excited to see how to come. So we just pulled off, got a spot. It is super hot today, but my brother should be pulling up in his new car he just bought, so I'm saving this spot for him. But uh yeah, definitely should have washed the car, but I was running a bit late. But uh yeah, looks like a cool turnout. I like the spot. And Daisy found shade, so it is very hot. I don't blame you for chilling right there. There's my brother. He just bought a 2022 Golf R. Guys, it is like impossible to get these cars. Like nobody can find one for sale. Hey, hey. just back up right here. Super, super hard to find these for sale. So he just bought this yesterday. So we you know what we had to do? We had to take him out to his first car show with his new car. He wasn't a car enthusiast before I got him into a cars with the M4. So it's super cool to see him getting into it. Now all my brothers are into cars. I got three brothers, by the way. Just had a Huracan and a 488 pull up. Now they're stopping the show. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so far it's been a fun little show. My brother's been uh, having some people take a look at the new Golf R because when I say these cars are rare right now, they are super, super rare. You just don't see them. No dealership has them on the lot. Like they're all on back order. So the fact that he was able to buy one, it's like, it's a special car to have right now. All right, guys, this is just a short part of the video, but we're done with the car show. Everybody's leaving as you can hear. But yeah, we're gonna head out and get some lunch and get in the AC. So we'll see you later. Three, two, one, go. What? <laughs> two, three, go. Oh man, okay. All right, let's hop out. That car is fast. Yeah, I think your turbo spools faster than mine, but once my twins start like getting their full boost, it starts to like catch up to you. So I'd be curious what it does on like a longer road. But yeah, this thing's really quick off the line because it's- I could tell you right now what it would do. I'd still beat your car. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll just have to find out now. But for sure, if we did a launch, his car would school mine because this thing launches like, I don't know, launches like a bat out of hell because of the transmission, what they did with it. What's it sound like on the... It makes this like... I don't even know, like... You'll just have to listen to the video. It sounds really cool. Just sounds fast. But we're getting Chipotle, guys, so... We're about to pass out of hunger. We are on the highway, passing the Bronco Stadium. I don't know if you guys watch football, but I am super excited for the... For football season to kickstart because... Russell Wilson just joined the Broncos, so I'm pretty excited with our uh, roster. So we shall see how the Broncos do this season. But let's see how many of you can guess what I'm about to do. Let me guess. Comment down below. Yep. Colorado and 5X. What's new? Always go into the shop in every video at this point. And man, is it a little difficult to film in traffic while filming, I should probably put my phone down. We got some things to do at the shop, so I'll see you guys there. Guys, I can't make this up. It is like this every single day in Denver. Traffic is out of control. It's like, it's not even fun to hop on the highways anymore. It's such a bummer, but um, 
there's nothing you can do about it. It's just always like this now. We just got here. It is a full house, tons of BMWs, and Brian just bought a new pickup truck, so we're gonna check that out. I don't know if I'm gonna film it, but he got a new pickup truck, so he's always been wanting to just get a you know a quick truck to pick up, so that's what he got. So looks like he drove that today, but we're gonna head on inside. I do like the Taekwache Taekwa 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 truck. All right, sir, so what are you looking for in my car? I wanna show you how to shift this thing. Okay. That's what we're doing. <laughs> All right, guys. Shit, bro. Yeah, that's, like, that's kind of toasty, man. His brother was sitting here, dude. What are you like, seven foot nine? Oh, the seating oh, position. <laughs> I'm six two, guys. I'm, I'm I'm lengthy. All right, so we're gonna do two things. We're gonna check for the uh, the shift fog delete. I'm um, gonna make sure that's checked out on uh, on MHD. Which, if those of you guys who don't know, the shift fog delete is pretty much if you shift from third to fourth. I mean, any any gear, but say you were shifting like from second to third, third to fourth you don't have a delay. So um, if you're driving, say, second or third, if you don't have it enabled, it'll go bop, bop. So you have that delay. Shift bog delete pretty much is like doing no lift shift. Um, and then it just goes bop, bop, bop. Like, it's instant. Yeah. Obviously, I'm making a lot of noises for my car that made single turbo. This is, car is going to be completely different. But yeah. nonetheless, we're looking for that. And uh, we're going to show Mike how to shift these things and how to <laughs> race because I was watching his video and I saw that he was racing on a 60 roll. And uh, on a 60 roll, he was in like second gear uh, yeah. at like 6,000 RPM. So I was like, dude, what are you doing? You're not a single turbo car. 6,000 RPMs, he's already out of steam. And uh, yeah, so definitely still needs to learn how to drive it and race it pretty yeah, much. Yeah, I'm used to my paddle shifters and my just <laughs> kicking down the DCT. So we're gonna teach him a little bit about that and uh, just pretty much check the shift box, so. Yeah, let's see. Let's go real quick. Brian's a natural in these cars. I'll uh, uh, just kind of grip onto the the shift knob because it's been coming off. Oh, oh you didn't scrape. That was good. Good work. So, 40 rolls. Let's see. This is more than perfect. Yeah. I do? Yep, there's no delay. There's zero delay. If you if you did not have shit bog enabled, the delay would be unreal. I wish I had a car here that didn't have it. So you can kind of see it, but there was no delay. So as soon as I let off, it like immediately shifted. Yeah, no, it feels really fast. So, see how it instantly shifted? Like there's no delay, so. Dang. I just gotta get like better at shifting yeah. this car. Now this thing sounds completely different in my single turbo car because with my single turbo car you can definitely notice and hear the difference because yeah. you hear the waste gates go bop, bop. That's what happens when you shift in my. Or Yeah. Now that's enabled, it goes bop, bop. Like, you can Man, I need, I just need to get an exhaust kit on this thing. Yeah, just something to quiet. hear more noises. It's and now it sounds like a really vacuum. Quiet. I definitely raise the rear, like now. Yeah, you can feel it squat and rub. I can feel it squat and rubbing. Yeah. And that's not safe when you're racing. So I'm gonna do a U-turn right here. How does the, uh, how do the turbos feel at 90,000 miles? It feels great, dude. The turbos are fine. You just definitely need a custom tune. Yeah. Definitely need a custom tune in order to revive this car a little bit and even throw some E85 in there. Um, other than that, this car is it's still good, dude. Yeah, it feels healthy. Yeah, it feels great. That's good. So yeah, guys, I think I'm gonna look into some Pier 600 turbos for this thing. So I don't know if I'm ready for a single turbo build. One, it's expensive, and two, this is my daily driver, so. Just some upgraded twins would be perfect for what I currently do. I don't think I can get to a 60 because we're on this already pretty fast, but I'll show you 40 roll where you should be at. So 40 roll, I mean, you should be at like second gear. Because watch, if I don't brake boost, say someone's counting down one, two, three, you see how there's barely any delay? Right. So now do 40 roll, brake boost it a little bit, 
one, two, three, it's pretty instant. Yeah, that felt way more instant. And you gotta shift this car, when you're on stock turbo, shifting at like 6,000 is a must. Anything after that, your car is running out of it's speed. It's just, yeah, yeah you don't have it. There's no more boost left. So. I was totally going past 6,000 on our, the other night when we were doing some races. Yeah, and you were racing at 6,000 RPM, so you yeah. definitely <laughs> were, like, you probably lost a lot. Yeah, I could have kept up with my old M4 guys. It shouldn't have, oh, did it come loose? Yes. Yeah, my shift knob is coming loose, guys. I'll let you drive it. We'll do one pull, but look at the, watch, feel the difference in the shifts, I guess. Okay. Alright, let's try. Yeah. Alright guys, gotta gotta show them what's up now. Last manual car I had was my Trans Am, but it wasn't a performance car. It was just like it was slow. Then before that it was uh, a 330, so it didn't even have turbos. So this is like my first turbo like stick shift car. So second gear, you got a roll racing. 40. delay do you see that little delay that you had yeah. I, that's that's the only difference between your shifts and my shifts yeah you're you're like super quick with your shifts i also have slight ptsd of the shift knob just like, <laughs> i literally punched the radio dude i went from second to third and it came off and i just like punched the radio i'm like that's not supposed to happen at you know 80 miles an hour jesus christ yeah. so you felt the difference right though like yeah. in the shifts that's 6,000 is definitely a better spot than going all the way to red line. Yeah, because after that, you're not building any boost. You're just lowering impact. You're just, it's all motor power. Yeah. And your car is alive yeah. at like this power. You're also probably losing a lot of power too with rubbing in the back. Because yeah, you can feel it. Yeah. You can feel it. So I guarantee you, if you get that fixed sometime this week, um, yeah, and we do this meet this weekend again, you'll definitely notice a big difference when racing a few I just got to raise, it's honestly the left side, the left coilover needs to be raised. I just raised both of them. Because that one rubs with the right side, doesn't it? Brake boosting is one thing that I've like, again, never got the chance to really learn. Yeah, and this isn't a car, yeah. So watch, you can, you can hear it, so watch. Just do it right now. You don't have to floor about. Hold brake. No, but you're supposed to give it throttle too. Throttle. So hold brake, throttle. Do you hear that? Now let go of the brake. Oh, okay. There you go, there's less lag. Jesus. These brakes are good though. Yeah, do you see how there was like, okay, well the, you had less lag, but you see how fast it spooled up? Yeah, I could hear it. Yeah, it sounded like uh, rolling anti lag from the, the M4. Yeah, and these have rolling anti lag now too. Yeah. So you can do, you can flash your car with rolling anti lag. I wouldn't recommend it. I feel like rolling anti lag takes forever to set it up. Um, I try that again. Nice. That there feels way better. If I would have done this on Friday night, my races would have turned out a lot better. I was just in second gear and just being, yeah, clueless. It was just your first time. So yeah. you were in second gear, at, or third gear actually, at 6,000 RPMs. No, so. I was in second at 6,000. Dude, we were like, it was more like 55. Oh yeah, 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 never mind, you it was, were. It wasn't right on 60, but it was still too high for what we were doing. No, we're gonna go back to, you were at 6,000. I saw that video. I was like, cause I paused it immediately and I was like, Kenzie, yeah. come here and she was cooking me food. She came all the way here just to, sh I just to sh me to show her that you were at 6,000 RPMs and that's when I called you. Yeah, he called me out, guys. Yeah, don't let me know. Hey, at least he lets me know, though. He doesn't let it slide. I can smell the brakes now. Yeah, the brakes are hot. It is super hot, guys, so the car is just probably about to explode. When he went out racing, what was it, Saturday? Friday, Friday night. Friday night, went out racing. Guess what RPM he was in? Guess what stock turbos? RPM and speed. start over because you okay, came yeah, in this okay. conversation ass backwards. <laughs> you were racing what? A I was racing right? my old M4. Okay, okay. It was at 6,000 RPMs in second gear. That's racing. Out of boost. That's yeah. Out of, out of, yeah. 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 6,000 RPMs in yeah. second gear? Yeah, man. Out of full turbo. 
Dude, that's I know, man. It's not even making boost at that point. It's just you're revving the motor it's out. Power. Motor power. It's just, yeah, you're, you're an N52 at that point. You may as well be driving a 328. No, I know. There's literally no boost. It was Those just... things shine from like 3,000 RPM to like... Yeah, I, I should have been in third gear. Yeah, you have, you have to build load. You build load. You should go after these. That's what we're going to go test out. Make sure... Oh, I keep forgetting it's manual. Yeah. yeah. Test it out. It has it. You can definitely tell the difference between... He still just needs to drive better. Yeah. But once he learns it, it should be good. And then just not start a race at 6,000 RPMs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dang it. I saw that thing on YouTube. I was like, why is this guy <laughs> starting at 6? What anti lag on? I know. Yes, What's up? What's up? You guys came out from New Mexico? Yeah. What are you guys doing to your cars? New motor. Bone stock. Bone stock. Is this what MHC stage 2 looks like? Yep. Dang. That's pretty crazy. That's MHC stage yeah. minus 2. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So we left the shop. I went to Snarf Burgers. I don't know if you guys have heard of Snarf's, but they normally make sandwiches, but they just came out with a burger joint. So we got the 335 parked nice and pretty over there and we're gonna get some, uh, yeah, some food reviews. Probably gonna go home first and then eat because I don't want to eat in the car, especially a burger. It's gonna get all messy. Yeah, super excited. But man, look how clean the 335 is looking right now. All right, guys, Snarf Burgers, definitely 10 out of 10. If you guys have one nearby, check it out. It was super, super good. But I'm going to wrap up this video, guys. I uh, found a spot to pull over. I'm going to get some cinematic shots here and some pictures. But yeah, uh, nothing too crazy in this video. Just a little vlog for you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to make a video soon on some cool topics like how much money I make as a small automotive YouTube channel and how much I paid for this car because I think you guys are going to be a little bit surprised at how much I paid for it. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's all I got for today. Peace out. Like and subscribe.